What is up, Neophytes? My name is Alan, aka Neocryptor, and welcome to another server tutorial. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I have been very sick uh, for the past, well, <laughs> what feels like forever at this point. So uh, if my voice sounds a little bit off, well, that's why. And uh, if I cough and I don't, and I forget to edit it out of the video, I apologize because my coughing is for real. Let me tell you. Anyway, so yeah, guys, uh, I put out a server tutorial on how to set up a PS4 server on G Portal uh, a while back, and I've been getting lots and lots of comments asking how to set up a boosted server. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, obviously, this video is brought to you ad free by G Portal. If you guys are looking for a very quality host, go check them out. There will be a link down in the description that will save you 5% off your initial setup with them. All right, guys, so setting up a boosted server is actually easy and complicated all at the same time. First thing I want to pull up here is this. This is your quote unquote Bible. <laughs> I will have a link to this page down below. Uh, it has every server configuration possible. Uh, all the settings, everything you need to know is all right here. As you can see, as we scroll down, there is so, so, so much. Uh, that you can look at and figure out. So basically, you know what you want to do. You just got to go here, look up the settings on how to do it. But I'm going to show you guys how to set it up, how it works. Uh, we're going to talk about setting, changing the points per level uh, for your uh, for your player, for your team dinos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. So if we go over to this page, which I will have a link here, this page is the G Portal Wiki. And this one is dedicated to showing you just how to do what I just told you how to, what we were going to do on how to set up the points per level. So when you level up your dino or your player, you get more points than what you would default that you would by default. If you look here, uh, it shows a little script code here, you know, per, it says per level stats, multiplier players, and then it has a number in a bracket. These numbers in the bracket correspond to what stat you are trying to or increasing per point. Below this box, it actually has a listing of what each of those numbers correspond to what stat. So zero is health, one is stamina, two is torpidity, three oxygen, four food, etc, etc, etc. So all you have to do is, uh, so like, you know, it says here this goes into shooter game uh, or, you know, slash script slash shooter game shot that dot shooter game mode if I learn how to talk. So what does that mean? Where do we put that? What do we do? Well, let's go over to our G portal, go to our server. And by the way, this works for PS4 servers, Xbox servers, PC servers, Atari 3600. No, I'm just kidding. It won't work for that because ARC is on that. But <laughs> yeah, it works for uh, everything that ARC is on. Uh, so if we go here to configuration files, when it loads, chug, chug, chug. And we're going to select our game.ini file. Click load. And now it's going to bring it up here. So let me skip through this because that's something else. Da, 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 da. All right. So I don't actually have any stat boosts in this one. All right. So right here is that same entry, that script, at which it should be there when you open up this file. Um, as long as you've ran your server at least once. You know, the script shooter game dot shooter game mode. So all we have to do is go you know, let's uh, space this out because we don't need that yet. That's for Ingram points. We'll talk about those in another video. Um, so all we have to say, let's go back over to our wiki. Now let's copy this just for the uh, player. Okay. And we're just going to drop it in here and paste it in. And now all we need to do is look up, you know, what stat we're changing. So like I said, zero is health. Say we want to get, you know, 10 times or the amount of health that we get want per level. So we just put that in there and that would be all you have to do. And all you have to do is look up what stat you want to change, change it the way you want. You don't have to have all the stats listed. So if I just wanted health, all I would have to do is have that one line for health pasted in here. So a uh, little trick with when I'm working with I and I files, the less information in them, the faster it will load. So you, if you're not editing some stats, leave the ones that you're not editing completely out of the file. Uh, it helps with performance. 
All right, sorry about that. As I was going to say before I got into a huge coughing fit. So it works the same for tame dinos and wild dinos as well. So if you look here, you know, the first one we did for the player was per level stats multiplier underscore player. And then we have underscore dino tamed and underscore dino wild. It works just the same. And if you're unsure why there's dino wild, uh, when a dinosaur is generated, when it spawns in, the game calculates how many points uh, it is spending. So for each level that that dino is, you know, it gets and it, uh, it gets you know, a point of attribute points to di to disperse amongst its stats. So it generates them. So all the wild dinos, you know, their their stats are different. Uh, that's why I went hunting for the perfect dino for breeding it can be such a pain. Uh, but you can adjust those just as you can adjust for dino tame. So you know, after you've tamed your dino, when you're leveling it up. So like, you know, we can say we want it to get five times more health there. So we can do the same thing. For here so it gets five times more health per point that the game dumps into that wild dino so to do that yeah i mean that's really all there is to it you just look up the stat you want to put in there um and you make sure you have the appropriate end on here dino tamed player or dino wild and it is as simple as that to adjust the dino stats and go ahead and talk about ingram points per level so <laughs> if you look at this as I scrolling through here, I have a bunch of entries for Ingram points. For every character level, you have to put in an entry for how many Ingram points you get for that level. Now, it doesn't say anything about levels so here, you know, so it just says override player level Ingram points and starts at zero. Zero being you, you're a fresh spawn, you have no Ingram points. You always have to start with that zero, otherwise it will screw things up. So for level one, we get 12 points. For level two, we get 12 points. For level three, we get 12 points. Basically, you just have to put an entry in here for each and every single level. It is as simple as that, but it is super, super tedious. Um, now, I have a tool that I want to show you guys that I use when I'm just, when I am setting up my servers for a boosted server or anything really, even if it's a server hosted through G portal or anybody else, or even self-hosted, this is the tool that I use to figure everything out. Okay. So now we are on the arc server manager page. Now this tool is actually designed to run your own server at home, but it is just so useful for multitudes of things when managing servers it, it takes a lot of strain off the line you don't have to do as much math and uh, you don't have to write each one of those lines out all you gotta do is set it up in the manager say to a save and then copy and paste and you're good you're golden so i will have a link here in the description to the arc server manager forums where you can download it just click by clicking the latest zip here and uh, i've already got it downloaded you'll get a little zip file that says latest like that all you got to do is unzip it, go in here, you'll see a bunch of stuff. Uh, you just double click that. If you if it's your first time running Arc Server Manager, it will um, it will ask you to set a couple things up. It's perfectly safe. It just downloads Steam command and sets a couple things up that way. So you'll, yeah, it's been a while since I've updated, but because of the way I use it, I don't really need to update it that often. So when you get it, when you get everything set up, It'll be completely blank, just like this. All you gotta do is hit the little plus button and it'll create a new instance. So now you see we have a whole bunch of settings here. To set up a boosted server, you can click on the player settings, click on the per level stats multiplier, and then you can slide these around wherever you want and it tells you, you know, it actually has the name. Let me move this microphone a little bit. You know, so we're adjusting health right now. We adjusted, we get 10 times more health. We, for points put in, we get 10 times more water now, or, you know, seven, whatever. Uh, so you can go through, adjust these however you see fit. I'm just going to do some, you know, just random adjustments here, like that. And then you can click save up at the top, but we're not done yet. We're going to do dinos too, right? So let's go down here to dinos. Uh, you can also adjust spawn rates and everything else in here. It is a very handy, handy tool. So per step, per level stats multiplier tame. Let's go ahead and adjust some of those. Health, we want seven times more health, not 0.2. What are you talking about here? Huh? What are you talking about? 
Uh, you can even adjust like the points per level that are spent when you tame the dino. When it you know first becomes tames, it does a you know point allocation based on how many levels it gains. Uh, you can adjust those here as well, and everything uh, like that. Now you can also go down to say Ingrams. All right, guys. So I see what they did here. Uh, they compiled everything into the same section. So the same section that you set up your custom levels. So if you want to go over the default amount of levels is also where you set up your Ingram points per level. So we would just come in here all the way at the top and type in what we want. So like, you know, for level two, it has eight. We could change that to 16 and just go through and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, like, uh, like we're doing right here. It's just as simple as that. Just get a little tedious, but it's a lot easier than typing out entire lines when you get done with doing that. Come up here. <coughs> Whoops, excuse me. Man, this stuff is killing me. Click the save button. And then we'll click that little button I just accidentally clicked a moment ago, where right here where it says installation. Click that. You go under shooter game, saved, config, open up our Windows server and then open up the game.ini which opened on the wrong monitor of course and now we're going to scroll down until we see what we modified here which in this case starts with our um, per level stats multipliers all you got as you can see everything we set is right here all you gotta do is copy all the way down here as you know to the end of the file hit control C go back over to our G portal set page here. Let me just get over to configuration files. Just like we did at the beginning here, we're just going to open up that game.ini file, like so. And then we're just going to paste everything in that we just, you know, that we just copied. Uh, you don't want to overwrite the stuff that is here unless it's like Ingrid Points or something like that. So it's just start with that B uh, auto PVE timer. Uh, you don't want to delete that. But so right before that, you're just going to come in. You're going to hit Control V and paste in or you know right click and paste. And you're going to just put in all the information that we just set up with the Arc Server Manager. And then all you got to do is click the Save button up here at the top and restart your server and you're golden. But now let's talk about those Ingram points per level. Um, a couple of updates back, Arc introduced something to unlock all Ingram points as you level, uh, which is, let's see here, this file, find it here, it should be right before we started copying, yeah, B auto unlock all Ingrams. You can just copy that, you know, just paste that line into your or type it in or paste it into your game.ini, set it to true, and as you level, Ingram points will unlock on their own, which is a really great way of doing things, if you ask me. You know, you don't have to worry about management, especially if you're a small group um, and you just need to, everybody to be able to have access. Everything is a great way to do it, and you don't have to fuss or putz around with Ingram points to make sure everybody has enough points to learn everything. So, there you go, guys. Um, I hope this was useful for you. Uh, that is the easiest way to set up a boosted server, in my opinion. If you guys have a different opinion or you have other tools that you like to use, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments or join my Discord. There is a link in the description for that as well. And yeah, guys, uh, if there's anything else you want to know, feel free to ask me. Maybe I can set up a video and show you guys how I go about doing it. Uh, and that's all I have for now. So until next time, guys, this is Neo, and I'll see you in game. Bye.